All right. Um, we didn't even realize we had this. I recently came across a collection of uh, pre-recorded uh, uh, Sony mini discs. I had uh, music from Pink Floyd, Aerosmith, um, Kenny Loggins, uh, Barbra Streisand, and others. Uh, some a little more interesting. Streisand, your favorite. <laughs> yeah, Barbra Streisand, my favorite. Uh, but it was a double disc, and one was sealed, and it's probably worth about fifty to one hundred dollars. Uh, anyway. I've never had a mini disc before. I did not know what this is. I thought this was some kind of MP3 player, but it is actually an MD Walkman. So Sony uh, made Walkmans for the mini disc. Also, I was not aware of that. This is really interesting. This one is recordable. So um, AJ just ejected the disc a moment ago. Um, you told me it takes batteries. No, but it also takes a charge. So it does have a charger. I don't see where... Oh, here's where it takes the batteries. All right, let's see what kind of battery... That, that makes sense. Do you know... Wow. What? Do you know what that mini disc? Uh, they uh, made them until 2013. Yeah, they came out... They came uh, They came in the... the okay, here's my, my understanding is they flopped in the U.S. and they were super popular here. I'm, I'm sorry, they flopped here in the U.S. and they were super popular in Japan. They loved them. Um, because they were recordable. Now you just ejected it. Guess who made the mini disc? Sony. And that's why they made a Walkman. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, I'll do that again. This is how you eject. This is what um, on a recordable mini disc looks like. Kind of looks like a PSP game a little bit, you know. And Sony, which makes sense because Sony makes a PSP, yeah. right? Um, I'll be surprised if the UMD are good mini disc. Yeah, they, you know, you probably are. Yeah, they were probably like, what are we going to do with all these mini discs we got laying around? How about we make a console and just sell it that way? Um, so let's see. You could record or play music. It has headphones for listening. Oh, and it has a mic, so you could talk into a mic. Um, again, it did have batteries. Let's see, what's this? Hold, sync, on, off, sync, record. Um, I guess that's the menu. And cool, right charge. Yeah, that would show you that it's charging. It's actually really cool. And it's actually way smaller than a Walkman. You know, it's it's just like, it looks like kind of a big clunky iPod, I guess. Um, and search volume, record. All right, I'm going to see if I can see what the batteries look like. You want to, I can't really do it with one hand. You want to just see if you could. Uh, I can't do it. All right. Unless it goes this way. No. Well, anyway, um, you have this on eBay now, right? What is something like this worth? About 100 to 150 Nice. Okay. Because it's kind of rare, you know? Hell yeah. It's, well, I guess, you know, if we went to Japan, we could buy a ton of these. Yeah. Hmm. All right. I just wanted to show this off. It is interesting, and uh, I wanted to show the world um, that it existed. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll edit it together with my mini-disc video. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should maybe. Yeah. I probably will. All right. Bye. Okay, um, here's one that's, nope, I gotta find one that's open. Open that, okay. I've never had these before. These are called, and I scanned them and there's none on eBay, these are called mini discs. And they're from the 90s, go ahead open it up. So it's like, uh, it's some kind of floppy disk. It's probably there's a special reader for it. Um, I paid only six for all of them, like 50 cents a piece. So I think they could, like, these are sealed. Michael Bolton. I mean, I wish it was like Zeppelin, Skinner, uh, Ozzy Osbourne, whatever. Here's Bruce Springsteen. If I, I'll try and see if I can figure anything out. Barbara <laughs> Streisand. Oh! I didn't even look. Pink Floyd. All right, that's that's got to be good. Uh, Kenny Loggin. Let me just put these back. What are they called? Mini discs. I tried to. Um, I work point? I, I'm gonna try them again. Harry Connick. Babyface. Uh, Journey. Aerosmith. And Tony Bennett. All right. Wow, what a mix. I know. All over the place. All right, so... Babyface, Tony Bennett, 
Patriot, Aerosmith. I'm going to see if I can figure anything out on this, and then I'm going to put that other stuff back. So, all right, bye. Um, so I'll just go in and, and how do I know where it is? I just asked for it. Tell her I was looking at a medal and I couldn't make up my mind. Oh, okay. And okay. then ask her if it's still 15. Yeah. If it's not 15, then skip it. Cause the necklace is in sterling. Okay. If she thinks the necklace is sterling, it is not. Marie and I are wait, talking. Wait, wait, wait. Um, okay. So anyway, I was able to find this one. I actually, I just started looking. Oh, forget it. I saw. Oh, you see it. There you go. For 20 bucks. Let me see. Let me see. Because it was like a really nicely, you can't uh, see it. No, I can kind of see it, but all right. That's something Marie wanted me to maybe go back and buy. Oh, it's a key one. Wait, that's different. Oh, you're not sure? All right. So anyway, um, these mini discs, they're freaking rare. Um, I was able to find this one completed, sold, uh, 65, open. Mine is, for promotion only, sale is unlawful. I'm going to be breaking that law. And um, they're sealed. So I guess they're worth at least 65 This one's worth at least 65 I might. What I might do is I might put it to auction for a, like a dumb price. Maybe like start it off at 100 and see what happens. And then I have all the other ones. Now I'm assuming the other ones won't. I mean the Aerosmith one might be pretty good. You know, um, this, this last house we went to, they were just like nutsy. Do you want me to just go in and buy it? Uh, do you care? It's like, I don't think the... Will, will um, it sell for like 80 or more? No. Then forget it. I was like, who cares? All right, anyway, we're done. Um, we're heading somewhere else to the store probably. Bye. I was just talking to Marie about like what we got. We actually spent like $26 because of like these things, you know, what we got bumps a lot. I got a light on this, but... Um, but for the $26, like I did the math. And I think we have at least... Literally, at least uh, $500 worth of stuff here. And that's the Fenton Bell and those weird uh, musical mini discs. I actually want to make a, a, a separate video of those uh, because I've never seen them before. They're just like super interesting to me. I have no clue what the player would be like if it was something that went. Maybe it's like a, like a Walkman kind of deal. You think so? I was thinking like maybe it was for the computer or something. Because it kind of looks like a floppy disk, but I got to look it up. You know, I'm, well, it I'm looks curious. Like, you know, it would have a like a cassette. Before, All right, right, you know what? Let me show these again. Player. Yeah, but it's like it inserts. See, it it's definitely like it's like a CD in a case. It looks like what like like say like the laser discs, but not the ones that were loose. Um, maybe it was the uh, what do you call it? The video disc, where they'd come in a hard case and you put it in a thing, and then and then the disc would eject. Because it's not clear like a PSP game. Yeah. But there, there's a whole song list. It's just got to be music. You know? And maybe maybe these came before CDs. And like we're immediately like, no. Or like you know? beta with the VCR? Yeah, pretty much. You know, they came at the same time. Maybe this came after. You know? I don't know. It's super weird. I'll see if I can find anything else about them. But I'm going to make a separate video for these for sure. Okay, Marie uh, actually looked at it a little harder than I did, and she saw a date on it, and she said it's 93, so these came after CDs, you know? Probably, I, I mean, like you said, maybe they were just a weird disc, like a Sony Walkman disc player or, or that kind of thing, that use these in, but um, I think probably for computers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up. I'm curious. Oh, AJ's calling me. Bye.